I haven't seen anyone make this video yet, so I figured this would be a useful guide for any new players coming to the cycle on what to keep and what to sell and how many of each to keep in my personal opinion. Now this is my personal opinion, so someone else might tell you completely differently. As you play the game, you might find out that, oh, I need to keep this much. So if you do notice anything that I am saying that, you know, maybe you recommend a different amount, leave a comment down below so that we can share advice with everyone that's coming. Other than that, I will timestamp each item. So if you are looking for a specific item and if you should keep it or sell it, you can just skip directly to that section via the timestamps in the description. Or if you hover over the slider, you should be able to see exactly where that section is. All right, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. We're gonna start out with the heads. This is Rattler, Crusher, Strider, Marauder, Heavy Strider, Mature Rattler, and Savage Marauder. You can sell all of these. They're not used for questing, upgrades, or anything like that you can just sell all them they do have a high value majority of them so they're good for k marks and good for money so we have fertilizer this is used for a lot of late game quests and stash upgrades it is pretty easy to find around woodcutter camp and around nutrition farms on crescent falls wouldn't recommend keeping more than two stacks and if you're struggling for space i would keep one stack and sell the rest next up we have the different types of flesh we have marauder strider crusher heavy strider and savage marauder you will need marauder and strider flesh for late game quests the rest you can sell i believe you need around six marauder flesh and around 20 strider flesh i wouldn't recommend keeping strider flesh until you get to those quests since they are relatively easy to find by killing striders resin gun you will need about 10 of these for quests and some stash upgrades so if you do find these i would keep a stack and sell the rest smart mesh super super important for high tier crafting quests and stash upgrades i recommend keeping at least two stacks of this if you do find more that's up to you if you want to keep more i usually keep two stacks and sell off the rest crusher hides obtained from killing crushers and alpha crushers is used in high tier crafting would not keep more than a stack and sell the rest very valuable but hard to obtain focus and pure focus crystals pure focus are used for crafting exotic armors and for some high tier quests regular focus crystals are used from so high tier quests but i wouldn't recommend keeping them since they are pretty common to find i would keep around a stack of pure focus crystals and then i would sell the rest fusion cartridge batteries insulation copper wire hardened metals compound sheets used in a lot of early game quests and a lot of low tier stash upgrades i wouldn't recommend keeping these they are found pretty easily around industrial places you can keep around a stack if you are struggling for room i would sell them uh, since they are so easy to find rattler skins these are used for crafting blue armors so if you don't plan on crafting any blue armor i wouldn't keep them but if you are i would keep a stack and that's it rattler and mature rattler eyes the regular ones are used for quests the other ones are, you can just sell they're not used for anything and they're pretty easy to get so they're good for money portable labs these are used for some crafting recipes and some high tier questing i would hang on to them since they're pretty uncommon shard slicers used for crafting i don't typically keep more than a stack i would sell off the rest if you don't feel like keeping them they are pretty common in lockers around high tier loot areas. So if you do need space, I would sell these. Interactive screens, super common around comms and jungle. Wouldn't really keep more than a stack. They are used for some crafting and some stash upgrades and they are pretty valuable. So if you need space, this is something you could sell. Shock absorbers. These are used for crafting stocks. Not really used for any quests. Wouldn't keep more than a stack and sell the rest. They are sort of valuable and they are kind of heavy. So that's up to you. Meteor fragments and meteor your cores they are both used in certain crafting recipes they're used for quests and jobs you can either sell them for money or hang on to them the cores do not stack in your inventory or in your stash so if you do get these they do take up a lot of room could sell them since they are pretty easy to find and they're kind of hard to miss when you can hear the loud meteor coming in cables if you plan on doing leadium drills later on in the game i would keep a minimum of two stacks of these it is around 20 cables per Ledium drill, so I would keep it at least two stacks. Uh, if not, they're used for some stash upgrades, and then you can just sell them off. Veltasite, flawed, cloudy, clear, pure, and the Veltasite heart. Flawed, always sell it. It's junk. It's not used for anything. Cloudy is used for blue armors. Clear is used for attachments and a lot of high tier quests, so I recommend hanging on to that. At least a stack or two if you do get them. Pure is used for a lot of high tier quests. I recommend hanging on to every single one of them until you complete all the quests. 
and then you need at least one belt of sight heart for a late game quest the rest you can sell or give to your friends since they are relatively hard to obtain titan ore and brittle titan ore brittle is used for some low tier questing titan ore is used for med to high tier quests also a lot of crafting recipes so i recommend keeping at all of the titan ore that you get and after you kind of do those early game stash upgrades you can sell off the brittle titan ore miniature reactors these are obtained from puzzles they are needed for multiple quests recipes and stash upgrades i would hang on to them when you do get them pistons these are needed for many attachments i would keep maybe two stacks of these sell the rest off they're also used for some low tier upgrades and quests if you're struggling for space they are relatively easy to find around industrial places so you could sell these but if you plan on crafting a lot of attachments i would keep them blue runner eggs you need three of these for the green stim quest line and then you don't need them ever again so you can sell them off circuit boards and radio equipment these are super common around comms base and base camp they're needed for some upgrades quests some crafting uh, but they're so common that you could sell these off if needed uh, radio equipment is used for crafting purple armor so if you were going to sell one of the two i would sell circuit boards and keep at least a stack of radio equipment nutritional bars these are needed for some early on upgrades i would keep maybe a stack and sell the rest they can be hard to find they're usually found in lockers or coolers if you do want to keep these you keep around a stack and sell the rest of them dust bloom these are easy to find in the desert area on crescent falls but they can be a pain to get due to the amount of mobs and the amount of players that go to the areas where they spawn i would keep these when found they're used for a lot of high tier quests and crafting so i would keep as many as you can ledium this is obtained from doing the ledium drill event from korolev it's using a lot of high tier crafting and it's super expensive so it is really good for money so if you don't plan on using it for crafting, I would sell it. It will give you a lot of K marks. Polymetallic Prefabricate. This is used in some early quests, crafting, and stash upgrades. I'll keep maybe a stack of this and then I would sell off the rest. Sample containers and biological samplers. I would keep one stack of each, sell the rest. This is used for some high tier questing and crafting. Other than that, you don't really need them. If you are struggling for space, I would recommend selling the sample containers and not the biological samplers. Old Medicine. If you plan on crafting meds, keep around a stack. If you do not plan on crafting meds and just buying them, you can sell these off. Print resin. This is insanely useful for crafting. I would keep two stacks minimum if you plan on crafting anything really. Other than that, you can sell these off. They are pretty good for K marks. Zero systems and master CPU units. Uh, zero systems is used for blue armor and other crafting recipes. Master CPU unit is used for some crafting recipes. And I believe you do need some of these for some med to late game quests. I would keep around two stacks of zeros if you're planning on crafting blue armor. And I would keep around five master CPU units and you can sell off the rest after that. Ball bearings and magnetic field stabilizers. These are used for some upgrades and some low tier quests. I would sell them if you don't have the room because they are relatively easy to find. If you are going to sell one of the two, sell ball bearings because magnetic field stabilizers are used for some late game quests. I would keep around a stack of each if you can, but I would recommend selling the ball bearings if you need space. Nickel and alter nickel. These are super easy to obtain. It's very common around both maps. Altered nickel is used in crafting certain bags. I would keep around a stack of altered nickel and then regular nickel is used for some low tier upgrades and some low tier quests. After that, it can just be sold off. Toxic glands, you can only get these from killing blast ticks. If they do explode on you on their own, they will not drop these. These are used for high tier jobs and quests. I would recommend keeping them all that you can, but if you do need room, you can sell them because you can just go kill more blast ticks to get them. Aluminum scrap, this is used for some stash upgrades. I would keep around a stack, maybe sell the rest. If you are struggling for stash room, you can sell them off since they are typically easy easy to find. Alpha Crusher Skull. This is only found from killing the Alpha Crusher in the dungeon. It's worth a lot of money. I would just sell it. It's not used in any crafting recipes. Medical supplies. You will need some of these for the green stim quest line and also for some late game questing. They're very heavy and somewhat uncommon. I would keep around five to 10 of these for some questing. Other than that, you could sell the rest of them off. Charged spinal bases and glowy bright cat mushrooms. These can only be found during the storm by either picking up mushrooms or killing striders. They're used for many late game quests. I would keep all of these if you can find them. Optic glass. It's used for crafting of scopes, upgrades, quests, and jobs. 
I would keep around a stack of these, but you can sell them if need be. They are very common around Waterfall Labs, Jungle Camp, and Crash Ship. Metallic Alloys. These are used for some upgrades and some low, medium, and high tier quests. I would keep around two stacks of these if you can. If you need space, you can sell off at least a stack. Uh, they're not super hard to find anymore, um, so if you do need room, sell one stack. Old Currency and Jewelry. These are used for upgrades and medium quests. They are pretty common to find, so you can sell these. Also, old currency weighs zero, so you can stack all of these in your safe pocket. Now, the safe pocket does go by weight, but it also has a restriction on the amount of items you can put in there. So if you are running out of room in your safe pocket, you can just sell these off. Scripts. These are obtained from doing jobs and quests for the respective factions. They weigh zero. You can keep them in your safe pocket, just like old currency. They are used in high tier crafting and upgrades. Bright cap mushroom and water weed filaments. They're used for crafting of meds. They're super easy to find, so I don't recommend recommend keeping them. You can sell these off if you do pick them up or you can just not pick them up and when you need them go find them. Pale Ivy Blossom. This is used for a lot of crafting recipes and late game quests. I would keep at least two stacks if you can. If you are struggling for space you can sell off one stack of these. Textiles. These are used for crafting and upgrades. Keep around one stack and I would sell the rest off. Indigenous Fruit. These are used for some high tier quests. I would keep all of these if you can they are pretty common on crescent falls and if you do need storage space you could sell off anything over one stack the alpha crusher heart this is also only obtained from killing the alpha crusher in the end game dungeon this is used for some of the highest tier of crafting in the game it's also really valuable so if you're not planning on using it for crafting you can sell it hardened bone plates obtained by killing savage or regular marauders these are super useful for crafting epic armors i would keep around two stacks of these if you do plan on crafting armor if not you can sell them because they are pretty valuable kotek multi-tools these are used for some crafting and some quests i would keep around one stack sell off the rest if you do need room you can sell them all azure tree bark this is used for a lot of upgrades and quests but they are really easy to find at the woodcutter camp on bright sands i don't recommend picking these up since they weigh so much i would just go and find them as needed and if you do pick them up you can sell but they don't sell for a lot gyroscopes these are super useful in some high tier quests and high tier crafting I would keep all of these if you do find them. Derelict explosives. These can be crafted now and they couldn't before. They're also used in a lot of high tier crafting and quests. I would keep these if found, but if you do just plan on crafting them for the quests when they come up, you can sell these. Data drives. I wouldn't keep common or uncommon data drives. The blue, purple, and orange ones are used for some high tier questing, but they weigh a lot. I wouldn't really recommend keeping these in your stash since they don't stack and they're pretty easy to get as you just go through the game, but they are kind of risky since you do need to go to an uplink station. And last but not least, all of the key cards. I will tell you exactly what key cards to keep and which ones to sell, starting with the janitor's key card. I don't recommend keeping this. I would sell it. The armory key card. I would definitely keep this it's super useful and you can get some high tier loot out of here the loose house key i would keep this there's one gun box in there definitely recommend keeping it the lab key card i would keep this the bar storage key card i would keep this the bright sands observation room key card this one you can keep or you can sell if you need room it's not really that great of a key card so that's up to you i recommend keeping it but you can do whatever you like the community room key definitely recommend keeping this there are two gun crates in there in a high tier area definitely recommend keeping this one overseer's office key i would keep it. it has some decent loot in there but if you do need space they are pretty common so you can sell this off the tall house key the worst key in the game sell this i wouldn't keep it it's trash key mine access key i would keep this it's really good for getting titan or if you need that the boss's office key very risky key to go and open but has some good loot in there i would keep this the server access key pretty good for k marks i would keep this key the luggage safe room key this room used to suck and they made it a lot better i would keep this key and last but not least the skeleton key i would recommend keeping this it is a relatively easy key to obtain and it does have some decent loot definitely keep it all right guys i know this was a super long video and i probably sound very winded by the end of it and i apologize for that but hopefully this helped you guys and if you did make it here to the end i appreciate that so much if you did like the video please consider leaving it a like a comment and subscribing for future content i will be having some more guides coming out soon and also some pvp based videos so if you're looking forward to that hit that bell notification it will keep you up to date when the new videos do drop and i thank you guys so much for all the recent support and i'll see you guys in the next video